As I stumble through this life, help me to create more laughter than tears, spread more cheer than gloom, dispense more cheer than despair. Never let me become so indifferent that I fail to see the wonders in the eyes of a child or the twinkle in the eyes of the, of the aged. Never let me forget that my total effort is to cheer people, make them happy, and forget momentarily all of the unpleasantness in their lives. And in my final moments, may I hear you whisper, when you made my people smile, you made me smile. You want some comedy? What? You got some comedy? Huh? You want a comedy? It's bad! What's in comedy? The only good thing that I can think about the uh, the breathalyzer would be like me stumbling into the vehicle uh, to sleep for the night and a cop comes up to me as I'm adjusting my bed or whatever and he's like, hey, um, you're looking pretty drunk there. And I'm like, yeah, I was, I'm not going to drive till I'm sober. I was just going to, you know, crash, crash in my bed in the back. And he'll be like, well, unfortunately, I'm going to have to get you to blow in the breathalyzer and potentially give you a DUI. He'll be like explaining the instructions on how to blow on this thing. I'll be like, yeah, no, I, I got it. And then when I blow, he'll be like, man, that's this guy, he's a pro. And then I'll blow hopefully something ridiculous. And then he'll turn to me and be like, hey, look, man, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to, uh, gonna have to arrest you for uh, 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 drinking and, and driving. And it's, uh, it's unfortunate, but that's just what it's gotta be. And I'll be like, all right, man, that's, that, I, I suppose that makes sense, um, except, and then I can just reach in the car and grab this bad boy. I mean, like, as I said, um, I'm not going to drive anywhere until I'm sober. The last place that I had an actual apartment was in Toronto, Ontario. Those are some pretty tough streets, man. Especially when you come from a small town like I do, like, People always have like frowns on their faces, so I try to keep the small town vibe alive, you know? I try to lighten the mood. I feel like I'm a positive person. I remember I would tend to, whenever a jogger would pass by me, I would say, hey, good for you. Just, you know, to encourage them to finish that last lap or, you know, to, to keep going, to keep pushing, to keep improving themselves. And I was walking with my buddy, Jimmy, one day, and a jogger passed by, I said, good for you. And Jimmy said, you know, they think you're being sarcastic. Probably didn't help that I had a cigarette in my hand. But I got a taste of my own medicine when I came home from my bike ride today because a biker was biking towards me just as I was approaching the condo and he gave me a thumbs up. And my immediate reaction was, what's this guy's fucking problem? I f saw it off a, uh, on a Chris Farley YouTube video. Apparently when he was on SNL with Spade and Sandler, um, they would say this prayer before they went on stage. It's called the, the Clown's Prayer. And I say it every time before I go on. That's a wrap on my week here in, uh, in Edmonton and a wrap on this tour. I uh, made a new friend, Kelly Taylor, and new friends, uh, Brandon Franson, both very funny guys. My buddy Jeff, who I met last year during my tour out in a uh, van, he reached out to me earlier this week. And so we, he took me out for lunch today, which was at this vegan restaurant. It was absolutely delicious and then I got him and his family uh, tickets to the show um, there were comp tickets but um, his his family gave him money and he even told them like there were nobody they didn't know he had to pay for them and he told them my story that I live in my car and I'm on tour and they there's over a hundred dollars in my in my wallet now because of them so thank you thanks Jeff and thank you um, all of uh, all of Jeff's family, because that's, that's um, not necessary, but uh, incredibly, an incredibly kind gift.